Okay. Well, down to three, and since Virgo's got to go last, whoever's hitting the table first goes next. Hard to tell who hit the table first. Aquarius, you're next. All right. This reading will be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you. Cool beans. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your moon rising or Venus sign readings. Whoa. Eight of Pentacles came out. We'll see if it comes back out. You can check your moon rising or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher, and our dear friends, the cross watchers, are always welcome here. Just a reminder if it doesn't belong to you, leave it behind. Not everything is going to resonate. But if you can take little bits, by all means, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just reading cards. Do with it what you will. <sighs> Why are you here, Aquarius? Nine of Cups reversed. Ah! Some of these cups got kicked over. Perhaps we've been overindulging a little. Doing a few too many things that make us feel a little too good, and now we don't feel so good. Could be. How do we feel about the person we're dealing with, Aquarius? Six of Cups. That's old soul stuff. Maybe a little bit of an age gap. But soulmates nonetheless. It's happy memories. It makes you feel good. Possibly someone you've known since childhood. What do you think of them? Five of swords in the reverse. Ooh, shish kebabs. Well, mm. Things unknown. Closed door stuff. Things that maybe you couldn't pick up pieces from. Mm. Everything just went all over. What do you want from them? King of Wands. Action, forward movement. Maybe some passion. Hmm. How do they feel about you? Swing the reverse. Maybe they can sense that you're drained. There could be a little bit of a lack of trust here. 
Maybe they feel like you don't trust them. Which, okay. Things happening behind closed doors, I can see that. Huh. What do they think of you? Nine of Wands. Oh, they think your guard is up. You are walled in. You're the only one holding weapons in this scenario, though, because everybody else has dropped theirs. So why is your guard up? Why are you so walled in? What do they want from you? Eight of Cups. Hmm. <clears throat> so they're they don't trust their guards up. Move on. Pack up and move on. There's something in at least one of these cups because it's steaming. Fire energy. Fire in the water. What's the obstacle? Hmm. Somebody in this scenario needs to do a little bit of self-work. Needs to just be by themselves for a while. Find the, find the inner light. Walk the path. Work on themselves. I mean, if there's been overindulgence going on, I could see that. Possible resolution. Page one's reversed. Not moving forward with anything. Not walking a path. Huh. This is why we get clarity. Definitely why we get clarity. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards and the people for Aquarius, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Well, sometimes that happens when we find our independence. When we free ourselves from something.
You got nine pentacles, but what are your cups full of? Because they're not looking very full right now. Hmm. One for the Six of Cups, please, for Aquarius. One for the Six of Cups. Two of Swords reversed. Difficult decision was made. Either you feel like they had to make a difficult decision, or you're the one who had to make the difficult decision, but a difficult decision was made. Possibly someone had to be cut out. Why is the Five of Swords reversed here? Seven of Cups reversed in the Hanged Man. There was confusion. Everything was scattered all over. Pieces couldn't be picked up. Possibly things happening behind closed doors. Had to accept the situation for what it was after making a difficult choice. Cutting yourself out of the gallows. Just left the pieces. Why is the King of Wands here? For what Aquarius wants from the other person, of the other person, for the other person. Six of Pentacles, equality. Five of Pentacles. Why the Five of Pentacles? I'm not taking 20 cards, no. The Seven of Swords reversed was on top of that. We'll see if it comes out again. reversed. They want you to move forward on the path. They want you to find something that is more equal. They care very deeply for you. Sorry. You care very deeply for them. You want them to find something that's more equal. But as long as you, someone's filling their cups with negative things, they got to be out in the cold. It's heartbreaking. It is. I think they were filling their cups with things they shouldn't have been filling their cups with for whatever reason. And you had to free yourself from it. You had to cut yourself out of the hangman's gallows. 
You just had to walk away and leave the pieces. It was scattered. You had to make a difficult choice. You didn't want to. You had to. Sometimes in self-preservation, we do things like this. Sometimes we got to do hard pill swallows like that when we care about someone, especially as deep as the Six of Cups cares. That's soulmates that play together over and over and over again. That's when you care. When you shouldn't have the strength to care, you still care. Right, why is that? Why is that strength reversed here? For how the other person feels about Aquarius. Why is strength reversed here? Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords reversed. No trust. They have a bad attitude toward you. They don't trust you. They have a crappy attitude toward the whole thing. <coughs> I'm not beating that card to death anymore. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Ten of Swords. They feel like they've been stabbed in the back, literally. They're, they're very defensive. Their walls are up. They're still processing pain. This was painful. They're ending a painful cycle. I'm not beating that card to get... I'm not beating that card up anymore. This was painful. Why is the Eight of Cups here for how the other person feels about Aquarius? Emperor Reverse showed itself. One more. Fool, upright. One more. So they want to be able to walk away. They want to walk along the river and over the mountain and to the other side where the sun shines, but they're vulnerable. They're restless. They want to be able to do this. They want to strike out and some, go somewhere new, something new. They're restless. The Emperor reversed. They're vulnerable. And they're out of control. Probably because they've been filling their cups with negative things. Ten Pentacles in the Tower. They want the dream. They want the... The big brick house with the white picket fence and the 2.5 kids and the dog in the pool and the Mercedes out front or whatever, all that happy jazz, you know, what, what people want. But the tower, the tower fell. They're vulnerable. 
They feel like everything they try to do, it just the tower just falls. Possibly they jump into things too quickly. They're afraid of the next tower. Their guard is up. They're in pain. They're drained. They have a crappy attitude. They don't trust. Aquarius, you just had to cut yourself out of the gallows. You had to walk away. You had to leave the pieces. You had to leave it in confusion. You made a difficult choice in doing that to free yourself from this. Sometimes we have to make difficult choices like that so we don't get sucked down with people. You can't bring somebody back up if you're sucked down with them. I feel this on a soul level. I'll be honest with you. This is this was my six and a half year marriage right here. This this is it right here. And I don't think I have a drop of Aquarius in my chart anywhere. You can't bring someone back up if you're down in the pit with them. Somebody, I'm not even going to touch this one for clarity. Whoever needs to do what in this scenario needs to do some self-work. Needs to go down a path of healing and introspection and really taking long, hard look at things and finding that inner light for themselves. And it's hard to let someone you love do that. But, you know, <laughs> I'm raising an Aquarius and he's one of those Aquarians, you know, he's, he's got to burn his fingers on that hot pan to learn to not touch the hot pan. It's just like that sometimes. He's probably going to be like that his entire life. He has to learn lessons for himself. It's just how it is. You can lead a horse to water, but they're only going to drink if they want to. They get thirsty enough, they'll drink. Okay, so resolution, page of wands reversed. Why? Is the page of wands reversed here? Knight of wands reversed, knight of pentacles upright. It's not a race. It's not a race. Slowly down the path. Especially when you're vulnerable and in pain. So, Aquarius, I think you need to let the other person set the pace for this. You can drag them down that trail all you want. They're not going to learn anything. Let them walk at their pace. Extend the olive branch. I'll help you when you're ready. But don't drag them down the path. Outcome. King of Cups. That's beautiful. I don't even need to clarify that. This is the ultimate act of love.
that's forever love. And that's finding love for yourself again, too. Wow. Okay. Seven of Pentacles reversed, Eight of Pentacles upright. You can't put the work into somebody else's fruit. You can't walk the path of someone else's journey. And you can't lose patience with someone else's progress. Think about that. Wrap your head around that for a minute. It's not your project. It's not your path. It's not your journey. Let their journey be theirs. Five of Wands upright, upright, Queen of Cups upright. Pick your battles. And sometimes the people we love the most are the ones we fight with the most. Because we love them. And we want what's best for them. But they have to want what is best for themselves. And they have to love themselves enough. You can't do that for them, no matter how much you fight. Okay, Aquarius. I throw some clothes in the dryer. <laughs> I think we're going to call this a read. That was wow. Wow. Let me know what happens. Let me know what happens. Okay. Namaste, friends. Be blessed. Love yourselves. Love each other. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to each other. Catch you next time.